Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. You might notice that things look a little different today. I am wearing not a stitch of makeup and I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> so if you're asking yourself, what is going on? Allow me to explain. Now I haven't completely lost my mind, although quarantine is kind of getting to me. So like a lot of you out there, I am stuck at home right now and I can't go out to get any of my regular beauty routine fixes. I haven't done my highlights in my hair, I haven't gotten my nails done, and all of this requires a lot of upkeep. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually not that high maintenance a person, but I definitely am feeling like I'm falling apart a little bit being stuck inside. And I'm under a lot of stress. I don't want to say boo-hoo because I know a lot of people have it harder than me, but I've been homeschooling my kids and I haven't been able to see my parents and all of that is starting to get to me. So as you can see, my skin is really red and inflamed and kind of peeling and dry. And I'm starting to get more white hairs, which is lovely. When I was pregnant, just to give you a little backstory, I took prenatal yoga with this woman, Jodi Bienenfeld, who's an absolutely wonderful, lovely lady in my town. And she is a consultant for Rodan and Fields. And you probably all know that Rodan and Fields is a company that was started by two women. Their names are Dr. Katie Rodan and Dr. Kathy Fields. And it's a very woman-centric organization and they have beauty and skincare products, especially. A lot of really cool products that I've been wanting to try. And Jody posted recently that if anybody's feeling a little bit glum and they wanted a pick-me-up, she would put together a little care package of beauty samples and drive over and drop them off. So of course I jumped on that. I was like, me, please. And she came and dropped off a couple of products for me to sample. Uh, not expecting anything in return, and so I thought that I would do a little honest review for you guys and try them out and let you know what I think of them and hopefully give her a little bump as well. So let me tell you what I got and then we'll jump into trying these on. And of course, by no means am I a beauty YouTuber. <laughs> I do get a lot of comments of people very nicely saying on this channel that I don't look like I'm about to turn 40 in August, which is super nice of you guys to say, please keep those comments coming now. <laughs> but you know, I try to take care of myself and, and take care of my skin. And I feel like I look my age, but I am interested in combating the effects of aging in a kind of holistic, healthy way. So I'm very interested in trying these products. So this is what I've got. Redefine Night Renewing Serum and Lip Renewing Serum, and Microdermabrasion Paste, and then I also have foundation. So this is their new foundation that comes in six shades, and it's got a nice little bow on it. It's called Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense Perfecting Liquid, and it's got SPF 30 in it, which is awesome. It's got a proprietary complex with antioxidants. It's supposed to redefine, reverse the signs of aging, soothe and unblemish. So I need all of those things right now. So we're gonna see which one of these matches my, my pasty skin. I have a feeling it's gonna be this one, but we're gonna try them out. We'll swatch it and see, see if there's a perfect match for me. All right, so how do I open this? Oh, <laughs> they popped out. Woo! <laughs> so professional, oh my God. All right, so look, it almost looks like it's like little pills in here. They're in a little foil. So which one should we try first? Should we be optimistic and go with like the medium toned one? So I definitely know it's gonna be one of these three options on the bottom here. Um, this one looks like it's going to be a little bit dark for me. This may work, um, and we should try this one as well. So let's start with the darkest one and just be optimistic that maybe I'm tanner than I think. And I'm going to put this on my skin and just kind of rub it in. So my initial impression is that it did look a little bit more golden 
than my skin. I'm a little bit more pinky. So you can see when I put it on, it has a little bit more of a sallow kind of golden undertone than my skin. But when I rub it in, it actually kind of matches. So let's see, let's put this down here. Okay, so you can see it is definitely darker than my skin. <laughs> That's considerably darker than me. Um, I could get away with it for sure if I put on bronzer and kind of made sure that I blended it into my hairline and everything else, but this is a little bit dark for me. But I will say that it is making my skin look considerably more balanced and even. It does have this really nice light consistency and it almost looks like it's like airbrushed. You know, you could see this side of my face looks like very much more perfected than this side. This side's all red and uneven. Okay, so that one was a little bit dark for me. That was Sand 3. So let's try this one. This is Beige 2. So I guess that's their level system. They have six different levels. All right, let me just get this off my finger so I'm not mixing two colors. Although I have heard that people do mix multiple foundations together to get like the perfect shade. But that seems like a little bit too much work for me. And I'm not even using like a makeup sponge because this is the way I do it. I just paint on my face. Considering how that last one wasn't really that dark, I'm cautiously optimistic about this one. This one also looks a little bit too golden for me. I don't know. But then when you smooth it out, it does it loses that kind of sallow undertone. And it actually matches pretty well. So you can see it's actually almost blending into as I put it in my eye. <laughs> it's just blending into my eyeball. It's awesome. But yeah, it's very, very light. And as I move it around and spread it out, it does a very, very nice job of blending into my skin. So I don't see that much of a difference between the two, but I do think that this one matches better. Oh yeah, you can definitely see on my neck that this one matches better. It's not as much of a contrast as the other one. <laughs> so yeah, I can cover up this hideous zit on my neck that I probably got from working out and then not showering. Zit on my neck and tell me that you love me. I'll zit on your neck and tell you I love you. So that actually looks really nice. I like this one a lot. Maybe I would go with this one. Okay, so there you can see the two different sides of my face. I mean, it's kind of unfair because you're seeing different light on the two sides of my face, but I think they both look pretty good. I could pull either one of these off, but I definitely think this number two level is better for me. Okay, the final, <laughs> the final test. Let's try Pasty Pancake Powder White. This one's called Shell One. I have a feeling this is gonna be the winner. So let's do this one on my forehead since I haven't um, done that area yet. So as you can see, it's a little bit whiter than my skin. It doesn't, it takes, because my skin has that like pinky undertone, you know? So this is more like pure white. There's no pink in it, but that actually matches really, really well, I would say. So you can see that that's pretty close to my skin tone. <laughs> And that one doesn't have the golden kind of sallow undertone too. So I think that one overall matches me better. But let's see, where can I put it? Yeah, so you can see that almost matches me perfectly, right? Even without my blending it, it's pretty much my skin tone. <laughs> That's kind of funny and depressing. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna try it on my wrist also just to see if it swatches.
is here. Yeah, you can see that that's basically my skin tone. <laughs> I really am that pasty. Color-wise, I think that I would go with that one. That is shell one. And I also just think in terms of coverage, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It went on really, really nice and smooth. It's not cakey. I put it right under my eye, as you saw. I almost put it in my eye. And it's not creasing up, like you could see. It's pretty smooth and I would say pretty flawless application. I look really nice and airbrushed. So I really like it. It doesn't feel oily or greasy or heavy. I could definitely see incorporating this foundation when my other one runs out. <laughs> so that's product number one. Now that I've put on all this lovely makeup, I can take it off. <laughs> and go back to my hideous golem self. Okay, so we have the microdermabrasion paste and we have night renewing serum and lip renewing serum. Let's use this one to cleanse the face first. Massage the entire contents of one packet directly onto skin for 30 to 60 seconds, avoiding eye area. Do not wet skin before use. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Ooh. Okay. So let's try this. We're gonna use this and then we'll put on our serums. So this is the microdermabrasion paste and I'm gonna use this one at night and then I'll use the, the other one in the morning. All right. So this is what it looks like. If you can see that, it has nice little granules and it's pretty thick consistency. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it smells kind of like lemon super pleasant smell. Okay, I'm not timing myself, but actually I can time myself. I can look at the timer at the top of the camera. So we're just gonna like, ooh, <laughs> exfoliation action, exfoliation station. <laughs> Let's exfoliate my zit. Hopefully it'll go away. <laughs> Let's see how many layers of my epidermis I can scrub off. It actually doesn't hurt at all. And it's like super, super citrusy smelling, which is really nice. I was just saying today that I don't have a very strong sense of smell. So you know how they said that one of the symptoms of COVID is that you lose your sense of smell. I don't even know if I would notice, <laughs> to be honest. But one of the things that I do smell is citrus. And I think one of the smells that I would miss the most if I lost my sense of smell is like the smell of a lemon, you know? Like that's just like such a nice, fresh, kind of tasty taste. And this tastes like, <laughs> this tastes like, this smells like orange. I almost, it's like making me hungry. Now I want to have like a nice, ripe, juicy orange with lots of vitamin C to keep me healthy. All right, so that's been about a minute, but I almost want to keep going because it feels really good. Oh, and also my skin's been so dry and just like peely recently from stress. I think it's like I have like a mild autoimmune thing and whenever I get stressed, my skin gets like really, really red and inflamed. So I'm hoping that this will just like take everything right off and give me some nice, smooth, glowy skin like on a baby's butt. Mmm, <laughs> a baby's butt that smells like orange slices. <laughs> Jody is going to be like, this is not what I imagined. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a professional YouTube beauty guru. Okay, so I think that's definitely long enough. So let's wash this off and see how my skin looks. So I look really scary right now. <laughs> I look like I have oatmeal in my eyebrows. Okay, let's see if I can do this without dropping my phone in the sink. So I'm just taking it off now. You can see there's, there's a little um, red 
peely spot that I had developed from just being stressed. My skin is like crawling off my face. <laughs> it's horrible. Whenever I get stressed, I definitely see it in my skin. It's like the first thing that shows stress on me. Just get that out of my eyebrows. <laughs> Ooh, it's on my eyelashes. Hopefully I won't grind it into my eyeball. Just put all of these products in my eye one by one. <laughs> They're like, avoid eye area. You moron. <laughs> all right. I think that's mostly off. Ooh, it really like exfoliated my zit and made it extra apparent. <laughs> okay, so now my face is definitely super clean. So let's see what's going on with my skin now. So I definitely see a difference immediately after using that paste. I feel like it exposed a lot more fresh skin. It took all those peelies off that I had. And I feel like I'm like glowing right now. What's the face that like all the beauty YouTubers always do? They're like, <laughs> sure, I look really cute when I do that. Oh my God. Um, so that was great. I really, really like that. And I could totally see that being a part of my cleansing routine. I feel like that cleansed my face a lot better than the normal, just like bar soap that I use. So that was really, really nice. And I think I got all the granules off of me. Maybe in my hairline a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to try is the night renewing serum. I love me a good serum. Okay, so I'm going to cut this open because I can just tell that this is going to require me to use my teeth. And that I might eat it <laughs> and poison myself. That'd be a great video. Night Renewing Serum. I'm going to have to reread the directions because I forgot them already. <laughs> I'm like a goldfish. I have no memory anymore. Okay, so let's see what it says. Redefine Night Renewing Serum. After cleansing and toning, well, I didn't tone, but I did cleanse, twist open the blue capsule and apply over the entire face, avoiding the eye area to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and pores for firmer looking skin. Okay. So let's do this. Ooh, it's like a little... One of those little bath oil things. It looks very futuristic. So cool. And I'm gonna, look, it's like a little dinosaur and I'm gonna twist its head off and murder it. Ready? No, no, yes, yes, no, no, yes, I give you. Ah. <laughs> Except I can't get it off. Okay. So now, ooh, I can already feel it's like really nice and silky. So I'm gonna put this in my palm. Oh, look at that. So it's like this clear gel, but it's super light. And I'm going to just put this all over my face like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Am I supposed to do this in like circular motions or something? Oh my God. Oh my God. This feels so silky. Oh my God. I've never felt anything like this. This is like super, this is like developed by NASA. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like the strangest most luxurious texture because you know when you like when you find a really really good sunscreen and it's not oily or greasy at all and it just kind of like absorbs into your skin this is like a integer power greater in its absorption and silkiness and non-oiliness than the best sunscreen I've ever tried if that even makes sense it just, it's so, it's silky. It's like, it, it's definitely moisturizing, but it's not oily at all. And it's really, really light. And I feel like I just put this, ah, this new layer of just baby soft skin on top of my skin. <laughs> that makes sense. It's like the thinnest layer of paraffin. Oh my God feels so good and luxurious. I'm not even kidding. Like this is something that I would definitely buy. <laughs> oh my God. I want to put it all 
over my body. I said, there's no more. <laughs> wow, that's insanely amazing. I wish that I could, I wish that we had touch television at this point because I really, really wish that you could feel that. Like, look, it's not on my fingers at all. It totally absorbed. And you can see my skin is not oily at all. And yet it feels really, really moisturized and soft. I feel like I just put a layer of silk on top of my skin. Like the tiniest little atomic size layer. Wow, oh my God. I just can't stop touching it. Wow, okay. Well, that was a really, really impressive product. All right. Hallelujah, what are we talking about? <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so the next one is the Lip Renewing Serum. So hopefully this one's gonna be as amazing, oh my God. Okay, open the silver capsule and apply onto lips to visibly smooth lip texture and reduce the appearance of lip wrinkles. Well, you know what? I feel like I should like rinse my mouth out first because then I'm not gonna wanna brush my teeth again after I do this. So I'm gonna pause this and <laughs> rinse my mouth because that's gonna be gross. And it's another cute little teeny bath oil looking thing except this one's even smaller this one is like a tiny person i'm gonna rip her head off too <laughs> i'm so evil like here we go a b c d oh. okay so i'm gonna just put this on my lips and my lips are super dry Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, this is a very similar consistency, actually, to the night serum. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what space age polymers are using in these serums, but this is like really incredible. You know, when you put on normal lip gloss and it's just like really sticky, this is not like that at all. Like when you first put it on, it has a little bit of stickiness on it, but then when I rub it in, it just like absorbs. Wow. Okay. And look, I almost look like I have an upper lip when I put this on. That's amazing. <laughs> so I smeared all over my face like clown mouth, like <laughs> just keep getting bigger. All right. Well, hmm. And it does have a little bit of a scent. It has a nice scent. Did this one have a scent? I don't even know. No taste. I like it. I like it very much. I'm very, very impressed. Wow. <laughs> well, these are definitely high quality products. I can tell you that. But yeah, so I like all of them. But to be honest, I love the Night Renewing Serum. If it's not a bazillion dollars, I'm gonna buy some because I've never felt anything like this. Like that was like spooky. It was like another element that's not on the periodic table. <laughs> so I wish that you guys could try this. If there's any way that you can get a sample and try it out, you should, because this is, is really, really cool. So thank you so much to Jody for dropping off this care package for me. I will try the morning AM microdermabrasion paste again and check in with you guys and let you know how my skin feels in the morning. But I am very, very impressed and this definitely was a super nice pick-me-up care package in this time of no beauty treatments. It made me feel a lot happier and more cared for. This was really, really nice me time. So thank you to Jody, and I'll put all the information in the description box, of course, to let you know how you can get some of this amazing serum for yourself. And I will see you guys here a little bit later in the week for another singing video. Until then, I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying sane, and I wish you all happy singing. Bye-bye.